Hello everyone, welcome to this very quick tutorial to get you started using smart boards. My name is Herman Vargas. Let's get started. The smart board is just a very large touchpad. You can use your fingers, you can use the markers, you can use the keyboard on the screen, or even do right clicks, left clicks. Let's go. To get started, open the smart notebook software. This software is going to give you a white canvas, just like a clean whiteboard. You can choose markers of different colors just by clicking the tray. And then you can just select elements, just throw them. Wow, it even keeps momentum. You can choose different patterns. You can choose very specific colors. And after you do all that, you can just click the eraser and then just erase what you were writing. As you start filling up the screen with content, if you run out of space, you can simply scroll down and then keep writing. If you're out of space again, then you can simply extend the page and now you can have a very long page when you can keep adding your notes. If your page is done, you can add a new page and go for now page two. We have additional content, next page, page three, and now you can navigate back and forth between the pages. This feature is very neat and I use it all the time. Sometimes I'm writing something on the board and well, I run out of space. I can simply select my handwriting, resize it, and then that creates additional space for me to work on. There are many other features that are very interesting. For example, we have the text recognition tool, which I use all the time. Yep, I needed that. You can use the shape tool to create different shapes. And then you can even select some of those shapes and then uh, subdivide them. For example, I'm choosing divide this in four pieces. And now we have created fractions. You can create different arrows. You can do line segments as well. You can do many other things. You can also add tables. You choose how many cells you want in your table. You can change the different parameters of the table to fit the needs. You can also add content. There's a very large repository of images included in here. And if you don't find something, you can go externally. Let's see what we can find. Check this out. This is just an example of the Smart Exchange. We downloaded this 3D model of the heart and we can select the different axes to rotate around them. It's gonna show you, for example, how many degrees you're rotating it. And then beyond that, you can do a deeper dive if you want to, for example, just go inside of the heart to discuss the different elements. Very cool. After you're done with all the content, you can save all the information as a smart notebook document that you can edit in the future, or you can export as a PDF. PDFs are going to be just very handy to give them as notes for students. I typically save every single lecture that I do. I do not turn all of them into PDFs, but if a student is asking for the notes, I can turn them into a PDF and send it to them. While the content in the gallery is very useful, you can also create your own custom gallery with any images that you use, let's say lecture after lecture. You can add them to your own gallery and you can also create themes. For example, I like having this ruled theme that is applied to every page. It helps me keep my writing organized. I use it every time and every new page that you create is going to preserve that same theme. The smart board also works very well with PowerPoint presentations. You can double tap the screen to advance to the next slide and you can use the inking features to put content directly on top of each of the slides. You can use gestures to advance and go back and forth between the slides. And you can also click the arrows to go forward and backwards. All the content that you write is going to be saved directly in the PowerPoint presentation. This inking feature extends to any other software. Here we're using just a browser and we can just write text directly on the software. We can take a screenshot of what we're writing and then this is going to be saved directly in the smart notebook software. You want to do that in case you want to record all this information. The smart notebook software has its own snipping tool. Instead of taking a full screenshot, let's give it a try. Let's navigate to a website and then we can add some notes directly in the web browser and after we add some notes, then we can just take a snippet of that specific portion. 
that information can be sent directly to the, your notes. And at that point, well, you can just add additional content or place it whatever you need it. If the touches from the marker or your fingers do not align with the software, you can do a very quick calibration procedure that will make sure that every touch that you do is going to align exactly what, what you want it to draw. And one final suggestion is, well, practice. The last thing that you want is the smart board or any other technology to get in the way of your delivery. Take the time to make sure everything is ready for the start of your classes. Good luck.